Oh, Hi. look, it's R R Rufus Wainwright. Hi. Rufus. Hi. How do you do? Nice to meet you. This is Harry, by the Hi, way. Hi, Harry. Is it all right that Harry's on the you set? You know, it's fine. Is it okay? It's You're not fine. allergic to dogs no, or anything? No, no, no. You want to sit like down? Dogs. I have a dog's name. So. You do? Oh, Rufus, Rufus exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you have, a, you have a, 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 a great name. Rufus is a great oh, name. Thank you. Who gave you that name? Your parents? Uh, or did my you make parents, it up? yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, no, my mother, um, my father's name is Loudon. Loudon, the third, that's also a good name. But, uh, so I didn't want to be the fourth, so they, but they wanted an equally bizarre name, so they named me Rufus. Right. Where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Montreal. You, you grew up there? Yes. And your parents are somewhat also famous. Well, they're, they're, they're like folk, folk, folk stars. Folk stars. <laughs> <laughs> folk singers. My mom's a a great banjo player. Wow. My father, you know, whatever. A banjoist. Yeah. <laughs> what a great instrument. What a strange instrument. Yeah, it's I wonder strange. how she found... It drives me up the wall. So you grew up band. around all of this music. Yeah. My parents were always singing, and, and, uh, and I, you know, was always singing, too. We were just, we're kind of like the mm. Von Trapp family. <laughs> the Von Trapps, like yes. in Sound of Music. Yeah, Except there was guys. only one of you, and there were like seven yeah, of them. I was... <laughs> were you a strange kid? Yeah, no, I was very, very strange, because I... No, I was just always performing and always singing and always wanting to be. And my mother told me when I was a, I was a kid that um, that I could be Annie someday because like wow. sometimes boys would play Annie on Broadway, kind of like a, you know when like men would play Shakespeare and right, women. Right, of course. She kind of, so for about four years, I thought I could be Annie on Broadway, wow. and she just never told me that I could. And then, and then I. That's both encouraging yeah. and, <laughs> and really confusing. Sincerely. I think because my parents were performers, I always. There was never any sense of normal, like I, like I have to get a job, or like my mother said, oh, don't, don't ever get a job, that that'll just ruin you. Really? And, wow. Uh, so she just gave me, you know, an allowance, and I just would write songs all day and stuff. Write songs. Yeah. What made you write songs? That's so great that you just sat down and wrote songs. What made me write songs? Because I think you're a great songwriter. Oh, thank I really you. do. I thank love you. your songs. Thank you. And to write a song, that is like yeah. some kind of genius. Yeah. Well, it seems to be the the place that I go where I'm just the happiest and. And, and I'm kind of the, uh, it's almost like the byproduct of my life. <laughs> right, is the you music. You know, eat and write songs. Right. Kind of what I just sort of come <laughs> out, you know, otherwise I'm right. constipated. Uh huh. There's a lot to write about in your life, like the fact that you're gay, openly, yeah, which is so that. great. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I don't know, I, it's, the interesting thing about it is that I'm, you know, I'm proud of being out and, all, and, mm -hmm. all, and so forth, but I do think it does make it a bit harder at times with the business and, there's sort of an odd glass ceiling that you right. do hit sometimes. Whatever, the, the, the one has to break through. So, so, so it's tough, but 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 it's but I, I think it's good in the end. Yeah, it's very good. Do you have any idols? Do you have any people yeah, who I have really plenty of idols? Yeah. Like, well, I, lo I love um, I love all, all the great composers are my great idols. Right. Because I'm a big you know Mahler fan and a big Wagner fan and a big Verdi fan. And if anything, um, and Maria Callas, I'm a huge Maria Callas junkie. To be able to is there anybody who you model brother. yourself after? Is there? I don't know if there's anybody like Besides that. Edie Sedgwick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Die there's, really no, young. There's, no, there's nobody I, I really model myself after. Nobody? Nobody. No, no, no. I mean, no that I, if, any, if I could have any career, it would be like a great composer. Right. Which is just that your work gets better and then you compose the greatest works on your deathbed. When in your 90s and you're conducting thunder and stuff and, and you're just like there's this great story about Sibelius where he um he was conducting his last symphony right his seventh symphony and he was up there conducting and he just sort of he just drifted off and lost it and, and they just had died no he didn't die oh, he didn't no die. he just sort of got lost in his own music and they had to sort of like the orchestra kind of stopped and they had to he just sort of walked off stage and that's kind of how I want to I go. think he was you want to sing us a song? Yeah, I can sing you a do? song if you want. Yeah, great. it's a bit early. I, would love it. I know it's a bit I early, but you have, have you, are, you, are you well enough? Are you warm yeah, enough? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. You know, try it. Okay, shall we saunter over to the piano? Yeah, we can do the okay. piano. This is called Grey Garden, which is another one of my obsessions. Grey Garden? Yeah. You mean about the Beale sisters? Yeah, it's about oh, my favorite movie. Yeah, it's my favorite movie. Who made it? Do you remember who the made Maisel that picture? Brothers, the Maisel Brothers, right, exactly. So, um, I love a documentary. It's a combination of Grey Gardens and Death in Venice. Oh, wow. Put into the same song. What a great thing. Okay. What a great thing.